Hello and welcome to A Cat in the Garden. I am sorry if my voice sounds a little bad, a little off. I went to the Cowboys Eagles football game last night and I'm not an Eagles fan, but my husband is, so it was pretty loud. But I have some mail to open today and it's not plant mail, so this does not count. It's not actually plants, it doesn't count against what I said. And I actually got this before the last plant mail that I opened from Sam's Hoyas, but I just didn't have the time to open it. I was so busy. So I'm opening it now. I actually ordered this on Black Friday and it arrived fairly quickly. I'm just, just getting to it now, but it's not plants. So I feel like it's okay. It's actually plant accessories. So we're gonna go ahead and get it opened up. We're gonna get grumpy little nutmeg out of the way here and open up the box. It's actually quite a big box, so I'm very excited about it. There's a lot of things in here. So we'll say goodbye to nutmeg for now. And this is my mail. It is from Propagation Diaries. It's a much bigger box than last time, so I'm very excited about it. I ordered quite a few products from their Black Friday sale. And yeah, I'm just excited to see it all. I feel like at this point, I don't exactly remember every little thing. I kind of have the gist of what I ordered in my mind, but we'll just go ahead and we'll open it together and we'll see what's in here. So I'm just gonna get the box all opened up. And this is what the inside looks like. Yes, thank you, Nutmeg. He's rubbing my feet right now, walking around, but I love the pink tissue paper. It's a vibe. Oh, there's stuff in it. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and open this first. Okay, so last time I ordered the three inch pots. This time I ordered a four inch and an eight inch. Is this eight? No, this is six. I think this is six or eight. I'll have to look. I think there's an invoice in here. Yeah, there is. Okay, so four inch it's six inch okay so four inch pot six inch pot i do actually have the three inch pots that i ordered last time still together here so three inch four inch and six inch the reason why i ordered more pots is i was telling you guys i was going to use one of these for a plant gift for my brother-in-law but um I think it's too small. So I think I'm gonna go with this four inch. That's why I ordered it. And I'll go ahead and pop that up and mail that out for Christmas because I'm kind of running out of time to do that. I think this is the last week you can sort of ship things out and they'll arrive on time. But let's go ahead and see what else is in here. Okay. Here's another little piece. Everything's all wrapped separately, which is nice. I feel like it's Christmas already. I'm just opening a bunch of mail. Okay, I ordered a bunch of these. So these are the little ring plant stakes. If you remember last time, I got the iridescent one. I believe they were sold out of that one this time. So I got two in cloud, which is like a matte white, and two of the clear ones. So I love these. I think they're perfect for small Hoyas and my little Hoya Lima Splash is growing a vine and really needs a small trellis. So I'm gonna use one of these fairly soon. So those are super cute, really sturdy. If you guys remember the last video, Nutmeg was like trying to eat the trellises and they were fine. There wasn't even like a mark. And then, okay, this came for free because I spent $50, I think. So if you spent 50, 30 or 50, you got a free climb support moss pole, which looks somewhat similar in design to the ones that I have, but it's shorter, a bit thicker, I think, and the holes here are smaller. So I'm really excited to try this. I'm gonna see how it works in comparison to the ones that I already have and just kind of evaluate it from there. Yes, thank you, Nutmeg playing with the tissue paper, of course. So if you can see up close here, it's got little holes and then it's kind of one of those D-shaped ones that you sort of connect together. And then this almost looks like a stake that you put in to the pot. I do think you can also stack these, which you can do with the ones I already have. 
So somewhat similar in terms of the function, but the design is a little bit different. I'm still pretty excited to, to try this out. I think you have to, okay, it says to remove the adhesive backing before use. It's got this cute little tag here and then a QR code for assembly instructions if you struggle with that. So it looks like I have a little bit of work to do to remove some of the plastic here, but other than that, this seems pretty straightforward and I'm looking forward to trying it out. Since it is shorter, I think I might use it on my Skindapsis Mayari, which is a small plant right now or any sort of slower growing plant. So one of the issues I have with some of the plants there is that they outgrow these moss poles way too fast. So something a little bit shorter like this, I'm going to use it for a slower growing plant. I think a Skindapsis thinking about it might actually be perfect. So I think I'm going to go for that. So that's fun. I am excited to try that out. And then I think this is the last part of the package. So we'll just go ahead, get rid of the box there and see what I've got going on in here. Okay, so I ordered two of the trellises and you already know I had to get the iridescent ones because look at that color change. That is so pretty. Oh my gosh. So I got the petite one here. So this one's a bit narrower, a bit skinnier, but it's still pretty tall almost the same height as this is the original. They do have like an extra large one too, or like a medio it's called, but I don't have any Hoyas that are so big that they need a giant trellis right now. So I went for the original and the petite because I have a lot of Hoyas in smaller pots. So I think this is gonna work out pretty well right now. And I just love the color, I can't get over it. Oh my gosh, look at how it changes color in the light. It looks like it's kind of shifting from blue to an orangey pink. I love it. I think it's great. These are gonna hold up pretty well, I think, with my Hoyas. And she does also have on her website these things called the Connect. So it connects two trellises together. This is a bad example because they're different sizes, but you can basically do this with them to double your amount of trellis space if your Hoya outgrows one trellis. So I really like that idea. I think it's very innovative and I am very much looking forward to trying these out for my plants. All right, since we are here and I've got you guys, I thought we would try trellising up one of the Hoyas with one of the plant sticks that I just got. So I've got my Hoya Lima Splash. This one is from Sans Hoyas. Oh, it's a little dry. I gotta give it a little bit of a drink, but it's very cute, not super splashy, this new leaf here has no splash, but the one next to it has some splash. And I feel like I could always chop it back down if it kind of reverts back to regular green, but I've got that and I'm thinking I'm going to use one of the cloud plant stakes. I'm really liking the color combo here because the, uh, the plant is in this little white cup. I know it's not gonna stay in this cup forever, but I don't know, I'm just really liking it. So I'm gonna try to jam this in here. So that's what we got. And then it's an active vine. So I'm gonna try and be as careful with it as I can. Hmm. Trying to figure out which way I want it to go. Maybe something like that. I did get some, there we go. I got some plant Velcro out, but I don't even know if I need it. I think that's the, the final look right now. Let me take out the plant tag so it looks a little bit cuter right now. So this is the final look with my Hoya Lima Splash. You can sort of tie it to the stake with the plant Velcro or some clips if you have that. But if you have an active vine, one of the most important things to know is that you need to have at least two nodes of separation before you put down the plant Velcro. So I would have to put it down here at this node because if you put it, if I were to put it right up here, it would actually kill off this active growth. I don't know why Hoyas do that, but it's just a thing. I've learned it the hard way where when I first got into Hoyas, I would just pin it right up to the trellis right there and they just kill off the vine. They stop growing for a while. So I'm just gonna leave it like this since I don't need to 
use a Velcro or a clip to tie it up, but I thought I did, that's why I got it out. But I think it looks so cute and hopefully it'll fill this thing out soon and it'll just kind of go all the way around. I think it's gonna look super pretty. I'm already loving this look. What do you guys think? I think it's adorable. I'm loving the, the black and white combo with the blue bowl and the pot and the white steak. It's just, it's perfect. So I'm really loving it. Another successful unboxing. I'm excited to try out the rest of these products since I got some new ones that I didn't get last time. And maybe I'll give you guys an update in a few months to see how these guys are liking the trellises, but I'm thinking they're gonna like them pretty well. All right, that is it for me and Nutmeg today. This will truly be my last unboxing of the year, I think. Definitely not plants, but I think it's cool to accessorize your plants and take care of them. You know, sometimes I get caught up in just buying every new plant, but I also just wanna keep my plants healthy. So doing things like this, getting trellises, getting nicer pots, getting grow poles, those are all things that I can do to keep my plants healthy and happy for the long haul. But if you like this video, make sure to give Nutmeg and I a thumbs up down below and subscribe so you don't miss anything from us here on the channel. And as always, I'm going to give a link to Propagation Diaries down below, either in the description or as a pinned comment. But thanks again for watching and we'll catch you in the next one.